Hello, civil engineers, and today we're going to be talking about tunneling and in particular tunnel settlement and building damage assessments. So I'm going to show you a free way to calculate and run the Berlin damage assessments on a building um, and we're going to be using Civils AI. So if you go to www.civils.ai, uh, you're going to load up this page and you want to come up here to calculators. You're going to see here a set of free, free calculators for different things like geotechnical, uh, structural, and today we want tunneling. So if you come to tunneling and click on tunnel settlement calculator, we're going to fire up this tunneling settlement calculator. And from here, what we can do is we can set our soil details. We can set whether or not uh, name the soil. We can set the thickness of this strata and set the K value. So the trough, trough width parameter um, in accordance with the Berland uh, method. Down here, we can actually set where our tunnel is, like tunnel axis depth, tunnel external diameter, set it, set some information for the building, such as building height, uh, the start point of the building, in this case zero, and the building end, which is in this case 15 meters. Uh, we can then use volume loss, um, enter our volume loss. So here we can enter even either the percentage of tunneling volume loss which occurs, which is the difference between the overcuts of the, uh, when you're tunneling, how much you cut versus how much you actually, uh, your support volume is taking up how much, vo like essentially how much volume you're losing and how much the t uh, ground is settling at surface level. You can either enter this number here or you, we can run a very rough prediction for you. So again, all of this, uh, all of the calculators on Civil AI, they're free, they're for feasibility studies and this early stage back of the envelope style calculations. So what we can do here is pick our materials. We can hit weathered, let's say predict and we're gonna predict, say, a 1.1% volume loss. Right here at the bottom, we're gonna run our damage assessment, so our Berlin damage assessment, predicting the maximum settlement under the building, running our first stage damage assessment, second stage damage assessment, and calculating the critical strain for the building. So let's just have a play around with this, see what happens. So let's say we're in clay instead of uh, weather drop, so we can set this here as like stiff clay, um, let's say 30 meters still uh, let's increase the thickness of this up here so let's say make this three for the made ground um, and then let's just hit reanalyze and see what happens so we've increased our trough width parameters so this is a bit less steep it's a bit wider um, and we can see here now suddenly our second stage damage assessment is actually now going to be negligible um, first stage damage assessment is based on just purely settlement and our settlement is 36 millimeters so this is not negligible in this case um, we can also change things like our building height let's change this to 30 meters see what happens um, okay so the strains updated i believe and we can change things like our tunnel axis depth so let's make our tunnel a lot deeper see what what happens then so 11.8 meters of settlement now still not negligible for the first case. Let's see what, what, what depth do we need to get this to be negligible in the first case. Okay, so we need to make the soil a little bit deeper. So let's just make this like 50 so we're not limited in any way. Okay, and now we're getting 9.9. .9, so just under this first stage um, assessment level. So this is just a very quick way to estimate the settlement and the building damage uh, assessment here bit of a black box type calculation. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear below what you think of this calculator. If there's some way you'd like us to improve it. Um, yeah, please get in touch. And goodbye.